Hi. Good morning. Maybe it's good afternoon. Depends on when you watch this. <laughs> yeah. I'm Bobby Brantley, and I teach here at Stage mm -hmm. Yoga. I'm the owner and creator of the studio here. It's a small neighborhood studio um, that I offer my community for convenience, right? And with that, and with the spirit of what I want Sage Bloom Yoga to be, convenience. Hey, <laughs> yes, it's, a, it's kind of important, right? So that you're going to have then that quality time, but right? one, to regain energy for yourself, quality time for yourself, but then, right, like after you get grounded and after you have taken care of your needs, you're then more available to those around you, my right? loved ones, um, whoever that might be, yeah. So welcome, welcome to the YouTube channel, Sage Bloom Yoga. Yeah, welcome to your mat. Um, I wanna bring in this idea of greeting your mat as though it's the first time you've met it. <laughs> so yeah, just like get to know your mat, right? Get to know the space on your mat because it's gonna be you and your mat for the next 45 minutes. And so like, go ahead and greet it and greet yourself. And greeting, you know, like what would that look like? Um, spreading your fingers nice and wide, getting grounded, feeling the points of connection of your body on your mat. And just checking in with yourself, like how are you, are you feeling today? And then immediately saying, you know, thank you for being here for me today, right? Like to your mat. And it doesn't judge. <laughs> it's, it's not human, <laughs> right? Like it, it is there for us no matter what. <laughs> and rolling your forehead left to right. Greeting yourself, greeting how you're feeling, greeting the physicalness of your body. A little check-in. And then downward facing dog. Yeah, being an exploration and this first part of class integration, right? And, um, just like really getting to know this first down dog because every time you show up on your mat, they, it's a little bit different than the day before because we go through different things in our journey, right? And so, where you were today or where you were a week ago is a little bit different than this moment. And so, yeah, get to know your downward facing dog in this present moment. The physicalness of your body, noticing where there's some tightness. And yeah, just like, a, like greeting yourself in this moment. If you feel like waking your body up more, alternating your knees bending, it's grounding that you need, really pressing the hands down, softness in your joints, toes pressing. And then feet step forward, top of your mat. You're gonna take a halfway lift, thoracic spine in, and then exhale, pit of the belly, and forward fold, ragdoll. Still an integration, so still an opportunity to check in with yourself. <sighs> release your hands halfway lift fill up forward fold press into those feet reach up mountain and then you're going to come to hands at heart center standing nice and tall 
And true north alignment here, I want you to close your eyes, getting present to your feet, getting present to your joints, stacking over your feet, traveling up towards the hips, hips stacking over the ankles. And then nice and long through your torso, side bodies lifting up towards the ceiling, and ribs squeeze and pit of the belly in. And then some shoulder integration here. If you want to take your shoulders up to your ears, exaggerate the stretch and then let the shoulders drop down toward your tailbone. Either way, thoracic spine in, chin slightly back towards the throat and then head pressing up. And now you have this connection with your hands. And so I want you to feel the flesh in between the hands like as you press, feeling any sensations that are there. And even maybe the muscles in your arms engaging. And we'll take a breath together as a class. Fill up here. Empty out. And you're going to open your eyes and then reach up, look up, take a breath in. Forward fold. Now moving into awakening. Yes, flow. Halfway lift. Low plank. To up dog. And then downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Feet step or jump forward top of your mat. Halfway lift, fold, rooting down into your feet, extended mountain. Forward fold. Halfway lift, thoracic spine in. Low plank, take your drishti to the top of your mat and low plank, hold your drishti there as you go down and now take it up, upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Feet forward, top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Press into your feet, extended mountain, press down and scrub out as you reach up, hands to feet. Flat back. And then low plank, the exhale, squeezing into your center line. Gaze forward, top of your mat, then it goes up for up dog and then downward facing dog. Sun B is up, so feet forward, top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Really press down into your feet, sit in the chair. And you can have arms extended or at heart center, yogi's choice. But wherever you go, bring length into your spine and then ignite your core sitting lower. Yeah, this opportunity to really wake the body up and say good morning, right? It's still before noon, so we can still say good morning. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Low plank or down dog. From your low plank up dog and then you'll meet your classmates in down dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. Grounding down into the feet. Yeah, rooting down, rising up through the hands, spreading your fingers wide, right? Turning on, like bringing the life force into your fingers. Now presenting yourself to your breath. And then on your exhale, take your vinyasa and we'll meet in down dog. It's like some mind-body connection there, right? Like listening for your breath, feeling your breath, and then you creating the flow you need in your vinyasa. You get another chance for that. Warrior one, left foot forward. Pressing into the feet, right? And then taking your life force up and into the fingers. So yeah, like activating from the ground up. Right? And now getting present to your breath, ujjayi breath. 
And on your next exhale, taking your vinyasa, trusting your flow, trusting your breath to guide you, and then meeting your classmates in down dog. And bending in your knees, hips go high, press down and forward into your hands and in your chest towards your thighs. Now I want you to lift that right leg up, flip dog. So it's the first flip dog in class. And you know, maybe be a little gentle, right? But you know your body well enough. You guys have been in this flow and in this practice for quite a while, right? To, to be able to gauge the depth of your flip dog. All right, crescent lunge, right foot forward. Nice, yeah, and now that left leg fires up the heel pressing back. And then you fire up through the arms, however you're pressing, if it's through fingertips or palms, and then tip forward and twist. Lorelei, I hope you can hear through Maria's if you lost your connection, right? Just stay, maybe, maybe mimic Maria, right? Like she'll be your guide. I don't know if I lost you or not. Okay, open up warrior two. Reverse warrior. Side angle. And on your inhale, come up warrior two, high plank, pause in high plank. You'll take a breath in and then side plank, open up. And it doesn't matter which side because we get it on the other side, right? Like trust yourself, go with that gut instinct. And then downward facing dog. Flip dog on the left side. And bear with me, everyone, a little bit of technical difficulty, which is fine. So um, Maria, if you can hear me, or Lorelei, if you can hear me through Maria, you can call me and we, you can put yourself on speakerphone and mute yourself. All right, crescent lunge, left foot forward. And then firing up that back leg. So the right heel pressing back, that right hip hinge lifting up. And now taking your twist, right? twisting crescent. And warrior two. Reverse warrior. Staying with your breath. Side angle. Next, inhale, warrior two. And then high plank, pausing in high plank. Feeling the connection in your hands and in your toes. Side plank, opposite side. Pressing down and then lifting up through the upper body, right? Igniting the arm in the air. And then downward facing dog. Or the vinyasa, right? You're welcome to take that flow. Feet step forward, top of your mat. Halfway lift, fold down, and then sit into chair. Twisting chair, opposite side. Opposite side, we gotta do one side first. <laughs> you know, it's interesting trying to like, you know, manage software and teach, right? Like, and it's, it's a true testament to yoga 
and to being in the moment and still being with you guys, right? Okay, take your forward fold, peace fingers to your big toes. Like old me would have been panicked and like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Okay, we'll just close class, right? <laughs> but like being sometimes in the chaos and getting present, rooting down, feeling your feet and taking that next breath in, right? Can allow you to stay even in a pose. Can allow you to stay in the chaos off your mat, right? A tool for off the mat. All right, chair and then twisting chair, now opposite side. And like bringing that length into your spine, pit of the belly in to deepen your twist. And next up, gorilla. And then releasing the pose, coming into crow or gorilla, or crow or uh, yogi squat. Yeah, whatever you chose, connecting with your mat. Yeah. Your mat's there for you for breath, it's there for you for play, to get a little messy. As you find that next level in this pose, the pose you chose. Staying for two more breaths. Yeah, and then take your vinyasa, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Feet step forward, top of your mat. Halfway the filling up, thoracic spine in. Forward fold, press down and out into your feet and then rise up, mountain. Eagle, right side, right knee on top, right arm under. Sitting low. Okay, immediately plugging into the pose not waiting for the cues to move into your fullest expression, right? Just doing it, honoring it, honoring where you can go. Tadasana, rooting down, feeling the energy move out into your fingers. Left side, left knee on top, left arm under. And, and you get, we're only getting one eagle on each side today, right? Like, so, like, Move into the fullest expression in this moment, right? Not waiting, sitting as low as you can, adding the resistance in into the thighs and into the, the elbows, pressing the forearms, pressing. Tadasana, standing leg raise right side. Yeah, knee out, gaze over, playing with drishti. Pit of the belly and bringing your knee back to center. And I want you to take your hands to your hips, heel then pressing forward, lengthening your leg, leg lifting higher. And now airplane. Yeah, and I love the control, right? Like what you're putting, the action you're putting into the but you're, all of you kept those toes pulled forward and then you press through the heel. Yeah, so keeping the action, hugging muscle to bone in your legs. Now with your breath, link through your sides, ribs squeeze into your center line. Half moon, right? Keeping the core engaged through the legs, through the torso as you open up. Nice, hold it for one more breath. 
Yeah, and then Tadasana. Creating that true north alignment in this moment. And pressing now into the right foot, left knee lifts. Knee goes out, gaze over. Back to center, hands to your hips, heel pressing forward. Toes pulling towards your knee, lift your leg higher. And now send it back for airplane. Yeah. Beautiful, right? Like, and I'm gonna give you space here to breathe space to add in those cues you had on the other side. And when you are ready, you transition into half moon. Maybe you're like, hey, you know what? I'm digging this airplane, I'm staying in it. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Play, right? Finding that new edge, knowing that your mat is there if you fall out, knowing that it doesn't care if you fall out. Tadasana. Nice. Dance your right side. Reach up first and then spin that right hand back, grabbing your ankle. Yeah, nice use of the wall. I love it. Okay, dance our other side. If you want that extended mountain first and then spin the left arm back, that's one of the ways to keep a flow in your body moving with breath. Tree right side. Right foot in. Right, and you've got now four more Ujjayi breaths in this tree. I want you to create your tree, right? Taking it to the level that you would like. Right, yeah, and, and it's a way to check in with yourself, right? Like, I am your teacher, right? Like, I'm guiding you. But then, like, you choose, like, right, where you're at today and what you need. And you, you check in with yourself and you listen then to what you need. And then you add it in. Tadasana. And then tree, opposite side, left foot in. You get five Ujjayi breaths. All right, so yeah, making the pose what you want it to be, moving with your breath. Your expression. Right, and there's no right or wrong expression. It's just, it's what it is to date in this moment. That's where you needed to be. That's where you are and honoring it. All right, forward fold. That should have been about five breaths. And then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low plank or down dog. Upward facing to downward facing dog, meeting your classmates there. Right foot stepping forward, warrior one. Moving with your breath, opening up warrior two. Transitioning into triangle, straightening that front leg. Hips tip back, reach forward, create your length. Yeah, there you go, then hand down. Wide-legged forward fold. Thoracic spine in. 
head pressing away from your tailbone. And then bending in your knees, coming up, and we'll grab pyramid, right foot forward, left foot steps up. And I want you to keep the softness in your knees, the right hip, right femur bone pulling up towards the ceiling, maybe a bigger bend in the left knee to let the left hip drop. Yeah, nice. So it's getting those hip bones in the same alignment, right, parallel to the floor. Now twisting triangle, left hand down. And noticing what happens in the hips as you take the twist, really getting present to the body in this moment and maybe lifting that left hip back up. Yes, nice. Yeah, and I see you guys using your breath to create length and space. Yeah. All right, forward fold, feet together, top of your mat. And then inhale, halfway lift, exhale, low plank, flow. Take your vinyasa and meeting and down dog. <sighs> Not rushing the process, knowing that, you know, your mat is here for you, for your breath. And that I see you as students, right? And I won't move you all until we're together and down dog. Left foot steps forward, warrior one. Staying with your breath, open up, warrior two, flow. Triangle. Okay, and like having that softness in the joints helps create that water quality in your practice. Helping to create space as you stay with your jaya breath. Inhale, length and expansion. Exhale, contraction. So even staying in a pose, there is a flow with breath. Straddle fold. All right, and straddle fold is a great way to connect with breath, like flow in a pose. And so softness in the knees, and now from your tailbone towards your head, you take an inhale and length comes in. And then pit of the belly and hinging forward. Right? Using your breath to create length in your spine, pit of the belly in to create the hinge. Right? Staying with that breath work. Length, and then the hinge, pit of the belly in. And then slowly, like it creates the pose and it deepens the pose over time. Pyramid opposite side. Left foot forward, right foot steps up. And softness in your knees. Left femur bone lifting towards the ceiling, the right hip dropping slightly. Staying connected into the toes and into the heels. Twisting triangle, right hand down. And then a forward fold, feet together. On your inhale, halfway lift, thoracic spine in. Low plank, taking your vinyasa, meeting your class and down dog. High plank. Low plank. Lower all the way down. Locust, hands interlaced behind your back, shoulders lift up, pit of the belly and feet lift. Yeah, and then gaze forward, top of your mat, maintaining your drishti in this pose. Release, pause for one full ujjayi breath, in and out. And come back up, locust. 
setting your drishti and maintaining your breath. Lower. Floor bow, reaching for your ankles behind you. Feeling your mat underneath your hips. Yeah, and if you took floor bow on one side, grab the other side. Hip bones pressing down. Rooting down through there and then the inhale, lifting the shoulders up, gaze forward. All right, lower it down, windshield wiping your legs left to right. And flipping over onto your backs, bridge. Yeah, so like now in bridge, before we move into a full bridge, I want you to connect with yourself on your mat, feeling your mat under your shoulders, under your back, your feet, getting present, building that mind-body connection. Now uh, you're gonna press into the feet more, pressing into your arms, more hips lift up, full bridge. Shoulders walk under. Now you're here for quite a few breaths. And we're gonna take bridge two times, but we're gonna hold them longer. And so I invite in opportunity, a possibility for the pose to take it deeper as you stay with your breath. Interlacing your hands, maybe underneath your back, and then the whole arm pressing down into the floor. Another opportunity is um, for growth, so growing the pose. Lift your heels up, press into your toes. It, maybe like really getting present to your toes in a way you haven't yet in class. Right, wherever you're at, allowing now the breath to right, expand your body out, your torso out, and then squeeze into your center line. And Donna, I like what you chose with your leg. Like, go ahead, take the other leg up, get the other side. Pair the belly in. Okay, lower. Take two Ujjayi breaths in between your bridges. Just a moment to connect with your breath, noticing where it's at. If it's elevated or a little um, like panicky, I, I could say panicky just because that's sometimes what it feels like for me in the transition. So I slow it down. I really like take an opportunity to take a four second inhale and a four second exhale. Are you just lengthening out the breath? Yeah, full bridge, right? It's your second one, the final bridge of today's class. So your fullest expression. Yeah, and, and I love it. Yeah, maybe wheel is there for you and you wanna try it on, right? Like, I'm not stopping you. Okay, so be in play, playing for where you could go next. You know, in my 12 years so far of Baptiste yoga, maybe it's 13 at this point, I've kind of lost track. All of a sudden, about a week ago, right, like I took wheel and I felt it in a whole new way. I allowed myself to lift the heels up and press through my toes and then I allowed myself to pull my thoracic spine in. I don't know, like all of a sudden, right, the pose just grew. I stayed with my breath. I trusted that my body had me. I trusted that my breath was there for me. And just this beautiful expansion happened. And it was all from just saying, you know what? I'm just gonna come to my head. I just wanna try this out. And then it grew. My tailbone toward your knees. Give yourselves three more breaths in this moment to create something for yourself. Balance, yeah, maybe it's that. The whole soul of each foot connected. Maybe it's, maybe it's making that mind-body connection, really rooting down, feeling your body. 
Okay, lower. Nice work. Great work. Happy baby. A little modified happy baby. And then with those lovely back bends we had today, we're going to move into stability. So legs, hands underneath your little back legs go straight up. And then you lower your legs 30 degrees, toes pulling towards you. Yeah, and then to 60. Pit of the belly in, heels two inches off your mat, shoulders lift up like a, like a little mini crunch and you hold it. And then just pulse there. Shoulders lifting, yeah, little mini crunches. So you, yeah, you're pretty, I know you feel it, right? You're turning on the heat here. Nice work. And start to rock and roll forward and back, gaining momentum. And after about the third rock, you're gonna go into down dog. And the bodies are nice and warm now. So um, flip dog, taking a full flip dog, moving, um, you know, another 25% into the pose that you didn't know you had. Half pigeon. Half pigeon. Now that you're in half pigeon, right? I want you to, you're really close to your mat. You're face down on your mat a little bit like you were in child's pose. And so reconnect with yourself on your mat. Moving into observation, into inquiry. Right? Notice how you feel now from when you first came to your mat. It's like a little check-in and wherever you're at, however you're feeling like just honor it. Don't, you know, not making it mean anything. It's just like greeting yourself in this new moment, in this present moment. <clears throat> and now downward facing dog. Alternating your knees bending. It's taking some time here to even out the legs. Yeah, okay, flip dog left side. <clears throat> Allowing the heel to really create the pose. It lifts up and then it moves towards your right shoulder, reaching for the floor. <clears throat> and half pigeon. <clears throat> <clears throat> Staying with your breath. Staying with 
seeing with I say drishti and for me drishti in half pigeon is more of an internal focus right so either setting you know your eyesight or setting an intention in this half pigeon <clears throat> you know like what is an intention right a little bit of like maybe how you want the rest of your day to go or how you want the rest of your class to be setting an intention and then being in creation for that Downward facing dog. <clears throat> Alternating your knees, bending and down dog. And now your choice for an inversion, if you want to work your way to a headstand, I encourage dolphin arms here, which is onto your forearms, um, palms of your hands on the floor. And then from there, walking your feet up to you. Child's pose or legs up the wall is an option. <clears throat> and so yeah, choosing the headstand, really pressing into the forearms. And then pit of the belly in. And some of the cues I've had in class, um, so in the headstand and even in child's pose, like tailbone towards your knees, right? Like it lifts up towards the ceiling when you're upside down. And seeing with your jai breath in your inversion, right? So the breath is our life force and it's our oxygen and it's what enriches our blood. which helps our organs, right? I mean, keeping them vital, keeping them working. Great work. We're gonna meet on our backs. And you'll set up for uh, reverse tabletop, pressing through your feet and your hands. Hips go up, head drops back. <clears throat> nice, yeah, this is like a little mini um, opener for what wheel can look like right so maybe one day you're like you know what i don't have that access to wheel i'm gonna take reverse tabletop <laughs> yeah okay fish setting onto your hands elbows pull towards your spine and then they press into the floor sternum lifts head drops back Now, I don't know if any of you, I'm, I'm sure you have, right? Some of you have even mentioned it in class, like you have this aha moment, right? And like reverse tabletop for me was an aha moment. Like, oh, I could totally add this in for real for me until my shoulders start to open up until I get that space in my neck. Some of you have like mentioned you've had that aha moment in, in Crow, right? Knowing that you can transition into headstand, right? So we, there's this, there's this opportunity for growth at any moment when you stay in the tools of Baptiste Yoga, the foundation, your breath. All right, coming out of the pose. And um, supine twist, <laughs> I had to think about that. <laughs> right knee in, taking it over and across your body, gaze, to the right as your knee goes to the left. Mm 
It's supine twist opposite side. Same with the tools of Baptiste Yoga, your breath, your drishti. Grounding. And Supta Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees out, left hand to your heart, right hand to your stomach. Pausing for a moment to connect to self. To trust that your mat is there for you. There for you today and in this moment for how you've showed up. Not changing how you show up, right? Like showing up where you are, even if it's a little messy. And now Shavasana, your final pose of class. Inviting in deep rest. Inviting in ease. an opportunity to drop what you know, to drop the stories you came in with, so you can begin again, right? Shavasana is that opportunity to release and let go so we can start fresh. So even if you want to sigh, like that cleansing breath, something that allows you to drop and to release your body towards the floor, to get out of the hamster wheel of thoughts. All right, and if the mind is wandering, I encourage you to stay connected to even your natural breath, just feeling the inhale come into your body. And then, yeah, whatever pops up in your mind, like see it, greet it, and then send it on its way, waiting maybe then for that next visual. And then, like keeping that on repeat. Not holding on to anything, letting go. And then we begin again, and we begin again by taking a deeper breath. We begin again by wiggling our fingers and our toes. And rolling onto your sides, knees and towards your chest, pausing for a moment. And I want, I want you to add in like the gratitude practice and if it doesn't come natural, it's just even saying, you know what, thank you for breathing today. Thank or thanking your mat. Like, thank you for being there for where I am in this moment. I'm coming up to seated. And hand start center. A little bit of true north alignment, even in the seated position, shoulders stacking over the hips, palms pressing. And we'll take a breath in as one fill up. Empty out. Thumb knuckles up to your forehead. Together we say. Namaste. Great work, y'all. Well done. <laughs>